Vaughn Martin. Versatile, smooth, springy. Playmaker. He is becoming an NFL draft prospect week by week. Quan is very versatile. He can play any position you ask him to play. The thing that he brings on a daily basis is knowledge, his understanding, and his ability to communicate to the people around him. Quan is probably the most versatile DB that I have had the chance to see in my coaching career. Drill to the backfield again, Quan Martin. I would describe Quan being a smooth, high character, high motor, relentless type of guy. You see Quan all over the field, man. You see he can jump, say picks, and get them high to go get them. I think he's a range of safety that can play anywhere. Quan, congratulations on this moment. I know you've worked very hard to achieve it, and I can't wait to see the results ahead. This is Jatavius Quan Martin. In the second round of the 2023 NFL Draft with pick number 47, the Washington Commanders added yet another secondary piece to this defense. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with another documentary style video as we're going to be taking a look at the personal life and career of Jatavius Quan Martin. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, our Washington Commanders. We want to roll to 6,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already also check out Juan Gotti TV trying to get to 100 subscribers on that channel thank you so much and let me know who you guys want to see me do a documentary on next let's get straight to it Jatavia's mom was born on April 17 2000 in Lehigh Acres Florida he has both of his parents in his life as his dad is named Jarvis Martin and he also has his mother and he has a couple of siblings too a brother named Chase Martin and three sisters so it's safe to say Jatavia fits the criteria that Ron Rivera loves is coming from a household that has two parents and a really great upbringing and just an overall family man. He attended Lehigh Acres High School and had a hell of a career there. Quan Martin was a three-star recruit according to 24-7 Sports and ESPN, a two-star recruit by rivals. Now you gotta think Florida is a huge, huge state and we know how they get down with football so him being a three-star recruit is equivalent to him being a four star recruit in an alias state for real. His high school coach was James Chaney who was just recently the offensive coordinator for Tennessee a couple years ago. He had 87 tackles and 1 interceptions and 1 fumble recovery as a senior. 38 tackles and 2 interceptions as a junior and he verbally committed to Illinois in July 2017. So 2018 as a freshman, Quan Martin actually seen the field quite a bit as he played in 10 games with 8 starts. He had 42 tackles and 1 one point five tackles for loss, three PBUs, and three interceptions. He was second on the team in interceptions with three, tied for fifth most starts by an Illinois true freshman DB, which is eight. He was one of the two true freshmen in the nation with multiple interceptions in the first three weeks of the season. That is insane. For your first three games of your college career, you already got two interceptions. Ron Rivera, I see why you drafted this kid. Now, and the reason why I say that is because as we know, last season the defense was really good however we struggled with getting takeaways so in the first round of this past year's draft the Washington Commanders selected Emmanuel Forbes cornerback to be that takeaway guy and then he also doubled up with Gatavius Quan Martin who's also a guy that make plays on the ball you see it right there three interceptions in his first year two within the first weeks of his college season as a freshman Good lord. So 2019 season rolls around. After having a really, really good freshman year in 2018, his coaching staff looked at Quan and tapped more into his versatility bag as he played in 12 games with five starts at cornerback because he eventually made the switch to safety. He had 23 tackles, two tackles for loss, two fumble recoveries on the season, and he was fourth in the Big Ten in fumble recovery. So although he made the switch to safety, his cornerback days still were there because he became a chess piece. He became a guy that you could move all around the field. Play him in the slot, play him outside, play him up top in the safety. This guy can do it all. So now the year is 2020, and for most people, this was the worst year of their life. But for Quan Martin, it actually planned out really well for him. As the 2020 COVID year happened, which allowed players to get an extra year of football and eligibility for their sport because this season got cut short. However, in the 2020 COVID year, he played in all eight games 
games and started two at defensive back. 38 tackles, one forced fumble, two PBUs on the season. So overall, an okay season for the COVID year, but what can you really expect when you don't have a full season, right? So in 2021, which would have originally been his senior year, is now his second junior year. He had 55 tackles, 3.5 tackles for loss, one interception, seven pass breakups, and one forced fumble on the season. He was number two tackling great amongst Big Ten cornerbacks in 2021, second on the team with seven pass breakups, fifth on the team with 55 tackles, 10 tackles, one tackles for loss, one forced fumble, and one PBU against Merlin. So in his 2022 senior year, he had a lot of accomplishments. He was a team captain for the Relic Weiss Bowl, an all-Big Ten second team, all Big Ten third team accepted an invite to the Reese Senior Bowl. Started all 13 games and played all over the secondary. 64 tackles, three tackles for loss, and one sack, and three interceptions, and 11 pass breakups. One QB hurry, and two forced fumbles on the season. He led Illinois in solo tackles for 51 and was number four tackling grade in the nation amongst cornerbacks with a 90.4 according to PFF. So after a successful five-year reign in Illinois, he then went to Mobile to play in the Reese Senior Bowl. He put on a display of versatility early. As the first day of practice, you could see him flashing his quick feet, smooth hips, and he was fluid in his movements. He showed comfortability and mirroring wide receivers too. So mano a mano, he got that in his bag. So a specific scout said this about Martin. Martin is a versatile defender uh, with significant experience at the outside cornerback position and slack corner, but he likely spends more time in a deeper safety alignment at the NFL level. So after the Reese Senior Bowl wrapped up, the next thing for Quan Martin was the NFL con Combine as he participated in most of the activities. He ran a 40 yard dash and he clocked in at a full 4 6. And honestly speaking, him being 5 11, I would have expected him to run a little bit faster. So I'm actually glad he did not run in the 4 3s because that is probably the reason we were able to get Quan Martin. And he then followed that up with a vertical jump of a 44 and then a broad jump of 11.1. And then he put up 15 reps on the bench press. So, according to NFL scouts, here are some of Jatavius Quan Martin strengths. He has the desired NFL body type with good size and length, all for nickels, back, and safety versatility, oily hips providing him free-flowing transitions, nimble feet to stay in phase with the route, burst to close includes soft hands, and plus he has elite ball skills. Has the range to play over top at safety and punches and separates to free himself and run support. So basically what I'm getting from there is he's going to be a guy that, again, you can use all over the field, but more importantly, he's probably going to end up being Washington Commander starring nickel back. Yeah, he's going to play some safety but we have a ton of safeties guys like camera curl Derek Force, you got Percy Butler who's going to be going to hit his second year who I think is going to have a solid year and you still got all pro Revo so I think Quan Martin may see some action at up top at safety but more importantly I think he's going to be our nickelback which he fits perfectly a guy that is 5'11 so he may be a little bit small but he's not afraid to stick his nose in the run game he's also not afraid to make a play on the ball as you clearly seen throughout his college careers he made plays on the ball whether it's an interception or forcing fumbles so I really do like like this pick and I think Washington potentially got a really good player in the second round. So as we know, every single player has strengths and weaknesses. So some of Quan Martin's weaknesses according to NFL scouts is that he gets knocked off balance in the tight man coverage, might not have enough play strength to cover tight ends, undercuts angles on the throws, run a little too shallow and needs to take leveraging angles to the ball carrier. Honestly speaking, those are not weaknesses that scare me. Too of the weaknesses is just his body type. I mean, he can always get stronger. I mean, and he can't control his height. So him being too small to cover tight ends, I honestly don't buy that because I think it all comes from within your heart. Whether you're five eleven or six three, if you play with that dog mentality, you can cover anybody. But more so, honestly, I don't think they would have him on any kind of tight ends. That's what you got Cam McCurl for. That's what you got Derek Forrest for, and bigger cornerbacks for. Chris Sims, a notable guy in the media, said that Quan Martin is the best safety in the draft he pointed out that Quan Martin has really amazing covering skills he's not the fastest guy but everything else is impressive he had the second fastest 10-yard split at the combine which was 1.47 which tells Sims that he has
has a rare shot area of quickness. Sims also was blown away with how Martin succeeded against a variety of slot wide receivers and man his own coverage. And if you were wondering, does anybody else think like that? Yes, Ron Rivera thought the same way that Chris Sims thought about Quan Martin. Rivera said while looking at Quan Martin, they were looking to get a guy that was going to be versatile. Of course, you know, that's what he loves. And a guy that was going to attack the ball, play hard, play physical, and be an ultimately good guy. They made it abundantly clear that they want a nickel guy. Yes, we already had Benjamin St. Juice and Kendall Fuller. Now you had Emmanuel Forbes to that mix. Now we were missing a slot guy. Love Danny Johnson. Think he's a very, very good guy that can come in and take some quality snaps. But are you trusting him to be your full-time slot guy? They clearly weren't. So they're looking for that nickel. I think Benjamin St. Juice is a guy that they look to put in there, but I honestly would not do that. I think Benjamin St. Juice is best on the outside. However, training camp is right around the corner, so things could definitely spice up and change come week one versus Arizona. But right now, I definitely want to wish Quan Martin a very, very successful rookie year and hope he thrives for this defense. I'm really excited about this pick, and I think he could do big things in the nation's capital so there you have it let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below this is the personal life and career of our safety jatavius Quan martin let me know who you guys want to see me do a video like this on next please hit that subscribe button hit that like button turn on post notifications trying to get to 6,000 subscribers please also check out Juan Gotti tv that link is down below in the description trying to get to 100 subscribers over there it is totally free thank you so much see y'all next time i'm out peace We the kings of the east, I hope you hear what I'm saying The DMV behind you, command us Now it's time to step in the field and take command cause 1932, we was established We been running the NFC East every year after life We got the best fans in the league You cut through our skin, it's burning gold where we bleed Cause Hail to the commanders, we the best in the league We fight for DC and the whole DMV we got a new name, but still got the same rims, though We got a new name, but still on the same mission, though And that's the way it's above, we ain't for back to the city